Greetings, survivors. This is Shadowy Darkness. Stop it, Lance. Hey, everyone. Growler here. It's dark. Lance is stupid. Nothing's new. <laughs> um, right, Growler. Thanks. Oh, hello everyone. Trigon here. Why? Welcome back to Growler's Cave. Arc Aberration. Don't forget, if you liked the video, tick out the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe as well. Um, I moved this wall back. You can see, this is where we had our, our crafting station and everything. Um, I moved it back, hoping our metal node would respawn, but it hasn't. So, uh, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about that anymore. Core did uh, tell me, though, that there is an island over there with metal on it. We've been gathering I uh, metal from that. The whole gang is here, plus one. We now have Nex on the server. Um, and, uh, 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 um, B, <laughs> what's a Bobella, Bobella, uh, which is Matt's, Matt's character, <laughs> apparently tamed up the Sarko, well, it was 346 Sarko. Not bad. I thought I thought he was after a um, a three hundred psych Sarko. Either it got hurt in the taming, or uh, he had to settle for something lower level. But yeah, uh, we moved out of here. Actually, a lot has happened since uh, in the in the couple days since I recorded the last episode. Um, we moved out of here. I got this little tower here here built up as part of my trying to move us away from. Uh, Move us away from the metal node. I got this uh, built up. We got us moved in here. We've actually expanded a fair amount in here, even since I built it. Um, but we got all our crafting stations uh, built in here. We got the eco ice boxes uh, built uh, last night when everyone was on. Um, <clears throat> and you can see we've got the automated arc workstation in. He's made a change to this. See if it's still working. Yep. Um, it, it, it now has every engram in the game in here so we can craft every ingram anything you learn as an ingram can be crafted in here now that's sort of cool actually uh eek made us some grindstones so we replaced the uh mortar and pestle with those then upstairs we have our uh barracks i guess you'd say see everyone's sleeping here we got bavella and jane underneath the uh, underneath sparky here and here's Nex, and Core, and Eek, and all of our bulb dogs. I've actually tamed quite a few. My my set, my first bulb dog is downstairs uh, with the others, and I think Core's got his bulb dogs down there too. I've got several several of them around the compound, just as tribe bulb dogs, who just uh, try to keep their light on as much as they can. And that way, you know, it keeps our yard lit up and protected. Not that we've seen any nameless yet, but so I built that raft there so we could get across to the island. That's the island with the metal on it easily enough. In fact, maybe we'll make a run over there. Somebody tamed that stego there. I tamed uh, Sharon there. She was, or he was uh, right here <laughs> stomping around in front of the house, and I went... Eh, it's decently high level. We can leave it out front to protect things, and maybe it'll be useful later on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got this up here now, so we got a pretty decent view. You see, stuff's cleared out quite a lot. Core built that. That's a taming pen with a that's a trap pen with a ramp coming up into it. Uh, we used it to tame uh, a new raptor for Core. Core's Core's um um. Ravager got killed. Oh, did I have the Ravager in the last video? I don't remember. I had two Ravagers. One of them got killed. Or did I have three? Two. I think I had two. <clears throat> uh, Core had a Ravager and it got killed. Uh, so we used, once the trap was set up, we used that to tame up a Raptor for him. It was a nice level 300 Raptor, so excellent. And uh, fodder here. Oh, this was just the one that was... It was. I was trying to. I was trying to get a nice high level uh, ravager and fodder here. Just got in the way, so he got tamed up. This is an extra. And there's yard man who was wandering around the yard, so he got tamed just because he was in the way. 
But the other one, I think this is also 300. Yeah, this is 300 level Ravager that I think Kor had spotted earlier on. And then Eek uh, was trying to coax up out. And finally, she and I managed to get it up into the tam into the trap pen and uh, got it tamed up. And I tamed the little level 40 Dode that was right outside. And man, I tell you, the little 40 just made a huge difference. I mean, that's how I managed to get the stone to do all of this. And then some other people tamed guys as well. Uh, okay, TR must be tribe. Tribe, they're both tribes. So Orange Crush and Little Miss Trouble both were some decent level ones that were out over there somewhere, I think. I actually wasn't involved in taming those, so I don't know. But yeah, here's some of the tribe ones I was talking about. Miss Purple, um, Angelina, and Fluffy. Hello, Fluffy. I think that's all of the... Oh, 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 yeah. Here's, here's the biggie. Here's the biggie for me. Not uber high level, but a Brian. Aberion. <laughs> Get it, aberration, Brian. <clears throat> okay, yeah, whatever. Your joke sucked, Dragon. Yeah, thanks, Growler. Uh, I'd been wanting a trike so bad, and finally, I got our climbing hooks. I haven't had a chance to... We didn't get a chance to play with these in the last episode, and I really meant to. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure you've seen these on other people's videos, if you've been watching videos so far. I did get these things upgraded to Ascendant, which was pretty costly, but... Whoa! But I didn't realize that you could actually go underneath this whole bridge affair to get between the, uh... To get between the... Oh! Hey! Someone set some spike walls up here! Uh... Okay. And my parachute didn't open. What the heck? Maybe because I was sliding down the... thingy? I did hit the spacebar for it. Uh, I didn't know someone put spike walls up there. Well, so much for my shortcut getting up there. <laughs> But you can climb up there. If it's not for the spike walls, I'll have to do something about that, guess, I guess, and get through up there. Yeah, I went up there, and I didn't think to take any uh, any appetizer with me, or for that matter, anything else, but gathering berries is hard. But I managed to get up there uh, and got uh, Aberion here trained up. And I did I have Enchantress in the last video? I don't remember. I think so. I don't know. I don't know what I had in the last video. It all is a blur. The last few days have been a blur. But I think, you know, first things first, since we can't get that stuff to respawn and we're pretty crowded, let's go ahead and do this. Um, stone. What are we short of? Wood. Ugh. I tried to get a roll rat tamed up yesterday. But it wasn't working. I was dropping the honey uh, uh, on its burrow when it burrowed, and it didn't do anything. I'm wondering if we may have to drop our stacking mod if that's screwing things up. If the roll rats don't recognize don't recognize the the thing because of that. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and take you. He doesn't have the weight capacity. I don't think that. Well, maybe he does. I don't remember what the weight of my Parasaur is. I've been upping that. I have not been upping his weight very much. Why? Because he needed his weight upgraded. Let's get over here. Now that we can get over here in relative safety... We still oddly get raptors spawning in or running around. There were raptors right out front just as I logged on. But with all our all our buildings around here, you can see not much spawns in this area anymore. But we come back here, we have real wood. So no massive carrying weight and nice stacks. And I suppose I need to get this out. Let's get some wood. I want to see if we can just get a behemoth gate built. Um, back there on the back side. That'll allow, uh, that'll allow Matt to get his, um, Sarko in the gate. 
And we can get the Stego in the gate. Technically, I suppose we'd get Sharon in the gate, too, but... Uh -oh, the whole point was to have her out front guarding the place, so I don't think I'll worry about moving her inside. And I think... Eek... <clears throat> Well, Eek pointed out how she found out whether it was through another video or, or through self-experimentation. But these red mushrooms, the pointy ones, are apparently the ones that cause the uh, psychotic effects. So let's try to avoid pointy mushrooms. And now I'm encumbered, and I can't move at all. Darn it! I gotta, how did I go from, oh, I picked up stone. I don't want the stuff. Let's get rid of that. Can I move if I get rid of that? Just barely. I have to go around the rock. <laughs> uh, uh, slowly, slowly. Uh, uh. There. Okay. You carry stuff for me. Uh, you can drop this stuff. I don't care about you carrying mushrooms for right now. Yeah, I got this guy for, for gathering berries and stuff. He's also, I mean, really, he's like one of our best fighters. Um, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, keep the rest of it. He is one of our best fighters. I mean, trikes are just so nice. Um, oh, stupid mushrooms. There's one right there, too, that's going to be a problem. Um, trikes are just so nice. But I'd originally got him you know, just to make it easier to, uh, to get around gathering berries, because although you can do it with the Parasaur, they're really slow at it, because they have such a small area of attack. Small AoE. Um... But then when we we got that, that Pariser, <laughs> the Pariser, you just go stand where there are bushes and stomp, and he just gets everything. Okay, so we get this last tree right here, and hopefully that'll be enough wood. Behemoth gates do take quite a lot. Let's drop this on you, buddy. Oh, and I got some glow sticks. I'm sure you've seen those, but I will... Pull those out and show them to you in a little bit. Oh, what's this? Somebody's building something new over here. Somebody building their own place right over here. Cool. Got a little building spot set up there. <clears throat> this little tower here, I believe, Core built originally trying to uh, tame a raptor. Uh, actually, has been sort of useful. Useful. Now that we have the trap pen, I think its days are numbered. Okay, so we'll get the wooden thatch in here. Hatch. Good job, Brian. All right, do we have enough stuff now to build this? Here it is. Behemoth Gateway. Behemoth Gate. Oh, and I got my Super Spyglass built, too. That was a huge leap forward. Definitely helped out with a lot of things. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Oh, that's just like the perfect width for the spot too, isn't it? Excellent. <laughs> We're under the ground looking up. I'd say that's an excellent position. Back 
up a bit. Super. Let's see if it opens okay with swimming. Yeah, opens fine with swimming. Okay. All right, so now we can go ahead and take all this down. out. Let's switch this to destroy. I don't think we need to keep any of these guys. I do want to keep the torch so I can replace it. sure I'm getting the materials from that. Do these from the inside, or from the outside I mean. Yeah, I know. It's cool, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> I does it not seem to be able to demolish that one there. Excellent. Now we have more yard space. Let's put this torch back here. Back here in this corner should work. <clears throat> yeah, we had somebody drop down. I think uh, I think Core put the spike walls up there because we had somebody drop down into the backyard from up there and caused a little havoc uh, yesterday, I think. Just as he and I were logging on. Okay, so that's taken care of. What do we want to do next? I want to... Okay, let's just show you guys the glow sticks first off. Glow sticks are pretty cool. Nothing amazing, uh, really. Uh, nothing I'm sure you haven't seen. You right-click them, breaks them. So you got like, just like a regular torch. And you can right click again to stick it on your back. <laughs> that growler has a glowy back, which is a pain in the rear because eventually it'll work around so it's right in your face. And you can also throw them and they stick to things with a left click. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so enough of that. Get my pick back out. Now, Growler here has leveled up quite a bit. This Growler's amazing. Uh, oh, okay. Growler has leveled up quite a bit. I think, you know, we've gathered quite a bit of metal. Let's go over and gather some me more metal. Then maybe we can get Growler upgraded to Flak Armor. Ravager, what's up your damage again? Yep, you hit. Yeah, that's a nice growl. Growl away. It's too bad the glow sticks don't protect you from the nameless. But my raft is out here a bit. Okay.
so you can see the metal from here. Let's park right up on shore here. And there is some magic mushroom right there, right next to the metal, so we do have to watch out for that. I think if we stay over on this side, we should be okay. And there's noon. Oh, I got the music. Whoa. How do we... How are we encumbered already? Has our weight been messed up or something? Oh, I'm carrying a ton of wood on me. Why am I carrying a ton of wood on me? Drop that. I thought I offloaded all... Oh, because I just demolished all the stuff. Duh. Oh, we got some spoiled meat there. We can make some more narcotics. My transfer gun. There it is. Okay. How are you doing weight-wise? You're okay. Um, I demolished all that stuff to keep the wood and then forgot that I demolished it to keep the wood. <laughs> Hope that was a trilobite I just saw. Those things are really freaky at night, let me tell you. You just see this glowing thing wriggling along the ground next to you. Thanks to our ga higher, you know, gather rate, get a nice chunk of metal off from this. Go ahead and harvest these crystals too. Any more down here? So, you know, the, it's cool the way these rocks break up into pieces, but man, does it make it hard to do anything else until those pieces disappear. Okay, uh, 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 getting stuck on things. Oh, and the Ravagers, uh, I think Kor told me this. I didn't, I didn't notice it. Um, the Ravagers, any of your regular gathering materials, they, they cut the weight in half. See, it's 68 pounds of wood. 136 pounds of wood. So really handy. Makes them useful for gathering. It's a little further up on shore than I planned, but... Alright. So over here. And we will pull the metal. Where is it? There it is. Off from Ravager. 3,000. How about that? So we'll get 1,500 ingots out of that. And we can also... Crystal on him. Crystal on him. We had stone wooden thatch on him, didn't we? That's, we probably have fiber on him too, come to think of it, demolishing all that uh, other stuff. He even carried a fair amount of stone back. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. I'm just going to pull all the metal ingots we have to here, since we're making more. All the upgrade stations got plenty in it. Okay, so, armor, armor, armor. Metal. There we go, metal hide and fiber. Oh, let's grab the metal we just had. There. 
grab some of this fiber for the upgrade station. Uh, we can't move. All right, let's put the metal back and just pull it. <laughs> I swear, it's like something screwy with the weight, because I swear our weight was doing better before. Okay, let's pull. Metal ingots. Let's see about upgrading these just a little bit at least. And more hide. We're out of hide? Really? Okay, let's see if we can pull some. I thought I'd gathered up quite a bit of hide. Snappy has a ton on him. It's quite a bit in the smithy. Hawkeye has some on him. Fodder has some on him. Take this from the crafting station. I don't think we're we'll going to get a lot of upgrades on this, but we'll see if we can get some on it. How are we doing on stuff? Materials. Oh, we're doing fine. We didn't hardly use any. And failed. And man, those boots do not want to upgrade, do they? So right now we've got journeyman leather. So if we get up to journeyman. Black, that will be a major improvement. Still hardly used any metal to it. We f this that's three times in a row we fail on the first attempt to upgrade those. Four times in a row. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> Didn't take as much metal as I thought it would. So, Growler is now... <laughs> Still got a light stuck to his back. Growler, quit looking at the ground, man. There we go. There we go. All nicely flacked up. And with it all upgraded to Ascendant, that means Growler's going to stand in combat pretty good now. Be able to do a lot more when it comes to uh, taking the heat of uh, hits while we're trying to do taming and stuff. So, uh, <clears throat> I think that's going to have to be it for today. We're definitely out of time. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, tickle that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and we will see you next time. Have a great day. Everyone.